hey, I'm back. Happy Valentine's Day. Because of that, let's talk about ghee chocolate. Okay, I know some of you are probably saying, what is giri chocolate or giri choco? And basically, this is chocolate that women buy for men during Valentine's Day. And not for the men they love or they're interested in, but just random men around them like co-workers. And giri actually means obligatory. So this is kind of like chocolate you're forced to buy and you don't really want to. So this has become kind of controversial in the recent years because lots of women don't want to buy this for just random dudes that they work with it's expensive and you think you know it's like what's the point so a few companies have a few things to say about it so let's check these out so this first one is about godiva it says godiva runs full page ad asking japanese women to stop buying so much valentine's day chocolate that's kind of misleading it doesn't say don't buy chocolate it says like let's not buy giri chocolate and that's because lots of women said like they don't like that they don't want to do it and obviously if you have lots of people working with you who, who wants to do this it's terrible let's read exactly what they say japan let's stop the giri giri choco practice there are women who say they hate valentine's day and there are also women who feel relieved when valentine's day falls on a weekend why because the difficulty and inconvenience of thinking of who to give giri choco to and then having to buy it they have to spend mental energy and money but it's hard to break the cycle and they feel irritated about the custom every year we at godiva speak from experience because we see this happen annually of course it's okay to give chocolate to someone you have genuine feelings for but it's not but it's okay not to give anyone giri choco. Honestly, in this day and age, it's better not to. This is what we've come to believe. Valentine's Day is supposed to be a day when you tell someone your pure feelings. It's not a day on which you're supposed to do something extra for the sake of smooth relations at work. So, men, especially if you're the top person in your company, tell the women in your office, don't force yourself to give anyone giri choco. We want more people to experience the joy of telling people their feelings, and we want them to enjoy Valentine's Day more than they do now. I love you. I adore you. Thank you truly. These aren't things you say to be polite. From now on, we want people to continue giving these earnest sentiments an important place in our hearts. That's beautiful. So that's how you know, Godiva feels about this, and I understand this. But to be completely honest, lots of people aren't buying Giri Choco Godiva because it's really expensive. So that's their take on it. And I think even Pocky, it's like Pocky has done this in the past with limited editions, Giri Chi, Giri Choco packaging. So you can just give somebody one stick of Pocky for, <laughs> for Valentine's Day. I'm sure I've mentioned this many times before, but this kind of giri choco is only for men so in valentine's day in japan women give men the chocolates but on march 14th men are obligated to give the women back chocolates so it kind of like turns into this situation which i think nobody likes because of course these men are getting chocolate from women and sometimes maybe you think ah oh, this is great all these women love me but other times you're like maybe i don't care i know this woman's not interested in me she just feels like she has to but then when it's like 15 women you think okay now it's white day i have to give these 15 women chocolates back i didn't want the chocolates in the first place so it just becomes a, a hassle for everyone so i understand where they're coming from with this maybe they should just give this up but let's look at a different opinion so here we have another one it says japanese confectioner has firm rebuttal to Godiva's anti-obligation chocolate ad in Japan. So this is a different company, uh, Black Thunder. I don't know what company it is, but I know this chocolate is called Black Thunder, apparently. And they said, no, it's okay. Give people Giri Choco because this Black Thunder chocolate is super cheap. I think it's like 50 yen or something like that, which is like 50 cents, maybe actually less than that. 
and it says here like this is part of their campaign uh it says one look and you understand this is giddy choco meaning like just look at this and you can tell it's cheap chocolate that you can buy a lot of and just give to everyone <laughs> I'm I'm surprised and I'm I, I I applaud their honesty. You look at it and you can tell it's cheap, and so they decided to do this and they did this response, basically saying, "You do you, we'll do us." This isn't such you know high quality chocolate. It says they sell for less than a hundred yen a piece, so less than ninety cents a piece, uh, depending on where you buy it, of course. You can see there, it's okay, but it's not like great chocolate and they said one of the great things about it is that not only can you tell it's immediately giddy choco so sometimes people get the wrong idea because a girl will give them chocolates and a man will think oh this girl like me likes me but they don't they just feel like they have to but I said with this it's so cheap you can tell that this girl really is not interested in you if they give you this chocolate which some people say that's good it stops misunderstandings so some people said here on the internet, they said, it's like Godiva is saying, hey, don't run yourself ragged over something like Giri Choco. While Black Thunder is saying, if you're having trouble picking out Giri Choco, we've got just the thing. Another person said, I like Black Thunder's elegant down to earth way of thinking. Another person said, I love when they run their Giri Choco ads. Another one, Black Thunder is chocolate that won't cause any misunderstandings. <laughs> That's good. And another person said, no one gives Godiva's Giri Choco anyways, so it's like Godiva's butting in to show off and say, look how great we are for understanding your plight. I kind of have to agree with him, so I don't know. But tell me what you think. Do you think that this should stop completely, or do you think people should just buy this cheap <laughs> uh, Thunder chocolate? And so that way, you know, everyone's kind of happy, I guess. I don't know. So that's it for today. This is... A vlog that I haven't done in a while, so I'm glad to be back doing this. Leave me any comments down below. I hope you're having a good Valentine's Day also, and until next time, see you.